What up, everyone? Matt here, and today we're talking about the free holiday gift from Native Instruments, Yang Quinn. Let's jump right into it. Yang Quinn brings the unmistakable sound of bamboo and steel to modern productions, delivering the beautifully emotive timbres of a traditional Chinese hammered dulcimer. This brand new contact-based instrument combines authentic sounds recorded in China with a range of intuitive parameter controls, so you can create dynamic melodies that are rich in character. First things first, let's check out some of these previews in the Complete Control browser. I'm gonna do a run through of the menus and a few settings on the plugin. Then we'll see how to use it in some modern production. The perform tab is basically the overall view. You can access simple settings such as dynamics, body, and decay. Sync to your host, change through different phrases that will play on dedicated keys, change presets to the tonal characteristics of the sound, set your scale and a few other options. The scale tab gives you a much more detailed view of which scale you're in, different tuning options, a big list of different scales, and customization of your scale. In the mixer tab, you can adjust your send levels, reverbs, and overall volume and effects. The mapping tab lets you view which functions are set to which range of keys. This is super helpful when trying to understand key switches and playing phrases. The final options tab is mainly for controller settings and performance parameters. Today, let's work in Logic Pro. I'm gonna build a quick drum beat in Machine running as a plugin, then we'll explore Yang Quinn and its melody phrases and add a bass line. Got the kick and snare locked in, now I'm gonna add some hi-hats using note repeat. Hi-hats sound good, now let's use the touch strip and pitch them up and down. I went ahead and added some open hats and snare rolls, now let's jump over to Yen Quinn. I have two instances of the plugin open, this one has phrases on it. I'm gonna sync it to my host. Cut the playback speed in half. Now let's find a sound we like. So my other instance is just a basic instrument. What I like to do is take the MIDI from the phrases instance and put it on the basic instrument to play the MIDI. Let's quantize this. I really only want to loop the first two bars, so we'll get rid of the rest and let's drop this down an octave. I bounce this to audio. I'm going to switch over to the scissor tool and cut it into small pieces. You could slice this whole region into equal pieces to whichever division you have set by holding Option. Now I'm going to select them all and reverse them. Let's play that back. Let's add some fades. Now let's add some effects. I'm going to add Native Instruments Faces. Turn the mix down a bit. Now we have a cool phaser. I'm also going to add Native Instruments Realm and give it some nice reverb.
Let's double this two more times and make it eight measures so we can bring in the bass line. I have an 808 loaded up in machine. Let's go ahead and record. All right, let's play that back and see how it sounds. And that's Yang Quinn. Get it for free over at nativeinstruments.com and stay tuned for the next video.